Hey, how's it going everyone? Today I'm going to be talking about something that is completely broken with the Helltide events. First and foremost, this has nothing to do with any dungeons at all. And second, if you want to do this solo, you definitely can. Although if you want to have a friend with you to boost up that experience while you use some elixirs, you definitely can. That way you can gain an extra advantage. So with all that information to the side, I am going to be showing you a great way to reset these events instantly within a matter of seconds. First and foremost, you want to find an event similar to this where you either have to free the captives or you have to look around and defeat some members or there may be something to where you need to defeat some in waves. Whichever it is, it's one of those three. When you have found an event that's similar to this, what you want to do is complete the event the whole entire way. And then once you have done so, you want to then go straight to the teleportation. If you are on PC, this is going to be the T key. And on console, it will be down on the D-pad. Once you have successfully loaded through, you can then do a 180 and go back through the teleporter. Once you have done so, you should notice that everything is completely reset. This means I can now complete this event once more or as much as I want until I have a good amount of cinder. This is only possible as long as I successfully teleport out and then go back in. What's interesting is some of these events do not work when it comes down to popping these events back up. What I recommend is that you find something similar to the one that I've talked about in this video. I even mentioned it earlier, but I will bring it back up right here. It can be anything from freeing a captive, looking around for some enemies, and there is one where you do need to break some sort of uh, structure, statue, or something like that. Something like that, then you know you're in a good direction. This can be done in different parts of the map here, something just similar to those events like I've mentioned. So now to prove that this is legitimate, I'm going to speed up the clip here, yet I'm going to show everything that is here. And I'm going to even show you that I'm teleporting out and coming back right in and it's going to be instant. I just want to make sure that I do this so that you know for sure that I'm not pulling your leg or scamming you on this whole entire idea here because it does work, it absolutely does, and you can then spawn these enemies back in, take advantage of the XP, also collecting quite a lot of cinder, and you do not have to move around a lot. There's also the other currency that you could then take over to the main point of interest that you're introduced to at the beginning of the game. You can purchase some items with that, including a chance at a legendary. I highly recommend this because it's a great strategy and a great exploit to my knowledge because again, I do not believe this is intentional and I will show you an example here later on of myself moving away from the event and actually going back towards it to see if it would pop back up. And we'll talk about the results on that a little bit later on, yet what you can tell right here is that the event has been brought up once more. I can then go at this again and I do this typically solo anyway so it's not a big deal and I can pick up a lot of cinders including the other currency where I could then have a random chance at acquiring a legendary. So let's go ahead and activate one of the mystery chests nearby and let's see what we get. By the way it's worth mentioning that these chests are not just for legendary items because you do have a chance for example right here. Or a mount to drop. This is why you should take advantage of the mystery chest and simply just take advantage of the whole entire Helltides event. It's quite useful in terms of loot, not just rare and legendaries, but of course those cosmetic items. Of course, there are other items that you can pick up, such as the obols, that you can then bring on over here towards the bottom right. It's the icon with the bag there, and we can then trade in that currency for a chance for either a legendary, a rare item that could possibly pop up, just all sorts of stuff like that. You do have your choices because you can choose between a staff, your arms, your legs, even your helmet, and so on. Of course, if you've been playing this for quite some time, I'm just repeating old information to you. I just want to include this just in case there are new players coming through. What you can tell right here is that we have a list. I highly recommend that you pick the ones with the highlights, for example this wand. 
If you're not too sure what this is, this will allow you to have a chance at a legendary dropping as a sacred item. Those sacred items are well worth picking up and I highly recommend it. You might want to... Now you might be asking what's so game breaking here when it comes down to these ovals? Well, if you complete an event and I believe it is on Masters, it might reward it without, but I 100% believe it is on Masters. You can then collect a bunch of those opals, quickly take them back over towards the town, trade them in, grab those legendaries, rinse and repeat this, not to mention you're going to have a crap ton of cinder collected as well. You can take that over towards the mystery chest, grab four legendaries, and whatever you have left over, might as well just take that to the nearest chest and grab some more loot. And speaking of loot, if you have yet to watch yesterday's video where I explain the whole hotfix because what has happened to dungeons is kind of devastating because they have adjusted the spawn rate for elites. For whatever reason, oh well, okay, we cannot say for whatever reason. Mainly. It was used to farm, I guess, the most efficient way. Some were saying it was not exploited, some were saying it was. Who knows? They completely lowered down that spawn rate. I sort of was not expecting them to nerf it or to patch it up or hotfix or whatever you want to call it. Yet this has happened, so if you have noticed a little bit of a change, this is what's been going on. And what's interesting enough is that there's going to be another hot vix coming out soon. Uh, yet, there is no date on it, but one of the developers did say that it is coming out quite soon enough. So, this could be Tuesday, Monday, sometime around there. So, that's just something to take note of. Other than that, I hope that you guys have enjoyed the video. And if you have, make sure that you give the video a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, Definitely subscribe and turn the notifications on by clicking the bell icon and making sure that you are notified for all. If you have any questions, make sure you do send it down below. I'm not sure if I have said that already. It's 1 o'clock or almost 2 and I should be going to bed regardless of the time that it says on the top right. I'm just editing so late. Uh, but thank you guys so much for supporting the channel and I'll see you all in the next video. Oh man, that lacked enthusiasm. Other than that, guys, I will see you all in the next video. Ah, uh, it still isn't a... Okay, anyway, see you guys. Have a good one.